Hey you guys, this is Maria, Pale is Blue, and today I want to show you how to create your own very pretty watercolor travel case. So what you will need is you will need some watercolors. Um, I just, um, you can either buy a watercolor pocket set like this, or you could um, buy the half pens individually if you want to sort of get your favorite colors. Then you will need some glue like this. This is just um, basically clay glue. You'll need some tissue and one of these um, mint boxes. And um, these are available from a lot of different um, companies. Um, mine is um, is the is this Rapunzel Organic Mints, and I got the these at a Whole Foods store in Germany. You can also order order these online. I think they're um, available on um, Amazon UK as well. So I guess you will be able to get these wherever you are in the world. Um, you could, you know, obviously use a different tin. Just um, pick one that you really like. I got these two designs and I, I decided to use this one for now. <clears throat> so obviously you'll have to empty out all the mints. <laughs> and this is how I made my travel set. So watercolors are sold in um, two different sizes. They're sold either in a half pen like this or in a full pen that's um, about twice as big. Um, you could fit, fit both sizes in here, but if you want to um, take um, a lot of colors with you, you will definitely have to use the half pens. So, you know, you have more space in here. And then what I do, I take some of my clay glue, take out one of these pens, attach some of the clay glue to the bottom, like that, make it nice and flat, and then attach it to the bottom part of the um, mint box. And then just do that again and again. And so I will just, I won't leave a lot of space between them. I'll just stick them um, side to side. And um, you can already see that this saves you a lot of room because this comes with a lot of excess plastic that you don't really need. If you're on the go and you just wanna um, do a quick sketch you don't really need all that much space. And there you go. So I have all of these colors in that tiny little mint box now. So what I do is I just use some tissue and stick it um, in here on both sides that way I can just you know what if I have to um, dab off some excess color or water for my pit um, brush I can just do that and um, this gives me actually gives me a lot of mixing area so obviously a travel set like this will give you some more mixing area and it will also give you, you know, three different, um, different mixing areas. But I find that when I'm on the go, I really, really don't need this. And even though it's not really heavy, um, it takes up um, more space than this will. Plus, obviously, this is a lot prettier than this. And then um, I find that this is just enough mixing area for me and if I mix, you know, very light colors and I then I move to the darker ones, I will just use some tissue, wipe it off, um, that works very well and then, you know, just use the area again. 
Um, now you can either obviously use travel brushes for, for this, um, which um, have a water um, container or come with a water container so you can actually fill them with water. Um, I don't own brushes like that yet at least. So what I do is I stick some more clay glue here and then I just take a simple bottle cap, a plastic bottle cap and stick it here and that functions as a water container. Um, it's, it's not a lot of water so you will need to sort of um, change the water in between I don't know, when you switch colors but I don't find that that's annoying me at all so all I really have to take when I go out to paint is this pretty watercolor set um, a brush or two, a bottle cap and this tiny bottle of water and that's all I need and so um, I really suggest you if you are into watercolor paintings uh, try this um, and it's so much fun it's so pretty I love it um, you can use obviously all kinds of different um, boxes there's I think Altoids makes a lot of pretty boxes as well um, have a lot of fun creating your own travel watercolor set and have a lot of fun painting. Bye!